Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number with numbers up to 15 and we will do this for subtraction questions. Now let's have a look at our example. We've got the first one here. 14 minus something equals 8. So 14 minus something equals 8. And our second example, we'll write them both down to begin with. We've got something, there's a missing number, minus 7 equals 4. So something minus 7 equals 4. Now as we've said before, if it was addition, it doesn't matter where the boxes are, where the missing numbers are. For subtraction, it makes a complete difference. Now let's have a look at the first one. We've got 14 minus something equals 8. Now as we've said before, what we can do is we can swap these two around. So if the missing box is in this position, okay, the missing number is in this position, we can swap it around. So therefore, the question would read like this. We have 14 equals, sorry, I've got that wrong. It should be 14 minus 8 equals the missing number. 14 minus 8 equals the missing number. We have swapped, changed the positions of the box and the number 8. Now in this tutorial, we're going to do these using the number line. So I'm going to draw it here. And in this tutorial, our number line starts from 0 and we keep going until we get to 15. Now as I'm doing this, I just want to say that you know how to use a number line. We've done this several times before. The most of the work involves in the first part what we did when we changed the ordering of the question. Once you know how to do that, the rest of it is easy. Okay, so this is our number line, and our number line goes from 0 to 15. Okay, so let's have a look at our question over here 14 minus 8 equals the missing number. 14 minus 8. So the first step is, let's find number 14 on the number line. Where is it? It's over here. Okay, I'm just going to put a nice big green dot above it. So that's 14. Now how many jumps are we going to take? We are going to take 8 jumps. And which direction are we going? Well, it is subtraction. And as we know, subtraction is going to the left. Okay, I'll just label that subtract. Subtract means we are jumping to the left. So we're going to take 8 jumps, right? Count with me, starting at 14. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There we go. The answer is 6. So we started at 14. We've taken eight jumps to the left, and we've got to six. That is our answer, six. Fourteen minus eight is six, and we can write this in the original question. Fourteen minus six is eight. Okay, so we have found the missing number. Now, in this tutorial, I'm using the number line, but you can use the dot method. You can use head and fingers as well. The most important the most important part is to make sure you reorder the question the right way. Okay, we're on to the second example. This time we have the missing number first. We've got something minus 7 equals 4. Something minus 7 equals 4. Now again, we're going to reorder the question to make it easy. And what do we do? We're going to take the 7 and we're going to move it right across to this side. Okay, we've got a minus, so therefore, on the other side, it becomes a plus. The question then reads, the missing number equals, 
Okay, we're taking the 7 across equals 4 plus 7. Okay, so now we're adding 4 plus 7. Now let's scroll down a little bit and let's draw our number line. Now again, as I've said before, I'm using the number line. You can use any method you wish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oops, I'm forgetting the ones there. 15. So that's our number line from 0 to 15. Now have a look at the question. We've got the missing number equals 4 plus 7. So what we're going to do here is, let's start with the larger, well, we can start with the number 4 if we wish. Let's start with 4. Find number 4 on the number line. It's over here. Okay. And what does the question tell us? It tells us that we have to add 7. Okay, we have to add 7. That means we have to go in this direction. Okay, subtract to the left, add to the right. And we're going to take 7 jumps to the right. So let's do that, okay? Again, count with me. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now what number have we landed on? We have landed on number 11. That is our answer, 11. 11 equals 4 plus 7. Now write this in the original question. 11 minus 7 equals 4. 11 minus 7 equals 4. So those are two different examples where the missing number is in different positions. As I've said before, reorder the question, but make sure you do this correctly. Once you do that, the rest of it is easy. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 15 looking at subtraction questions.